So the first meal I decided to start with was oatmeal. It's pretty simple, but I filmed this on a Sunday and what's the one thing you need to just soak up all the fun you had over the weekend? Um, that's carbs. So yeah, I decided to make some oatmeal. Pretty self-explanatory. I just add some salt, brown sugar, cinnamon, um, let that cook on the stove for a little bit mix it up a little. Um, yeah, there's really not that much to oatmeal. It's pretty self-explanatory. But I'm just gonna kind of zhuzh it up a little bit with some berries, some bananas. Also, I apologize for these angles. They're so bad, so shaky. I literally went and got a tripod after this. So the other meals are a lot prettier looking in terms of how I filmed them. Um, but yeah, and then I just added some peanut butter to the top of this, and that was meal number one. It was so good. So for dinner, I saw somebody on, I think it was like Pinterest or YouTube, eating a bulgogi bowl, which is like a Korean dish. And I was like, I want that! So I'm gonna try to make my own version by using a turkey burger. Uh, so we're just gonna heat up some rice and then I'm gonna let the burger de-thaw because I'm sitting in the freezer. So while it's doing that, I'm gonna cut up some vegetables. So I'm just gonna shred some carrot here and then cut up whatever is left of this green pepper here. There wasn't a lot, but every little bit counts. I can still taste it. Then I just cut up some red onion, and I love red onion, but it makes my breath reek. So I have like a love-hate relationship with it, but I wasn't kissing anybody that night, so it's alright. Then I just had some extra like frozen veggies in the freezer, so I put those on the stove, and oh! Look at those reflexes. Oh my god. Anyways, so we're gonna check in on our little turkey burger and she doesn't seem to be doing that hot um, But I promise it'll be good in the end So I'm just gonna shred this up kind of like you would taco meat and then add a little bit of seasoning to it some salt pepper um, And then just let it cook on the stove for a little longer Then I'm just gonna add some seasoning, salt, pepper, and mix those together. Um, and then I like to add some soy sauce. And I ended up adding way too many crushed red pepper flakes and this thing was so hot, but it was still good. Um, and then I just add the meat to the veggies as well and cook those a little longer because I had this weird fear of like not cooking my meat enough because I don't want salmonella. Anyways, so I add the rice to this as well because I like it to kind of soak up all the good flavor. And yes, I put this in slow-mo because look how good that looked. So then we're just gonna plate this. Um, yeah, that's basically it. And then I just topped it off with an avocado. And I put more of the red pepper flakes in the avocado, but I low-key wiped them off right after because I realized I made it too hot. But this is it, it was so good. So for this next meal, I made kind of like a sweet and then a savory toast. So I'm going to start out by cracking an egg in a pan, and I like to break it up just because I, that was my vibe today. I did not want an egg yolk. So I'm going to just start by putting some avocado on this piece of toast, and then you're just going to watch me absolutely butcher this tomato. My knife is so dull, so I'm sorry, okay? This looks so bad, but... It all ends up in the same place, so it's okay. In the end, it's okay. It's 
So now I'm just gonna top it off with that egg and I did add some vegan cheese. And this stuff is really good actually. It's made out of like cashews um, and I really liked it. So then for the sweet toast, we're just gonna kind of make like an adult version of peanut butter and jelly. So, you know, just putting on the peanut butter jelly and then I'm gonna top it off with some banana. For this next meal, we are making pasta. So I'm just gonna put some water on the stove, let that heat up, get it to a nice boil. Um, and then I just added a lot of frozen veggies, some broccoli, some spinach to a pan. And we're just gonna let those heat up, dethaw, cook a little bit, do their thing. Um, I added some garlic salt and some pepper. I know that was a lot of garlic salt after just watching that clip. I'm like, oh my gosh, but we're all gonna die someday. Anyways, so I'm gonna add the pasta to the pot. This is gluten-free, so, yep, nothing else to that. After draining it, I like to add the pasta to the pan and kind of let that cook with the broccoli and the spinach just because I don't like my pasta crispy necessarily, but I do like a little bit of I don't know, is that weird? Like I like it to have a little bit of that like charredness from the stove. So, and then I'm just gonna add some pesto to these two and mix them up. Um, and then on top of that, I just added some, what did I add? Oh, some more pepper flakes, yeah. And then this vegan cheese that is actually oh, so good. Like I haven't tried a lot of vegan cheese to be honest, but this is pretty good, I don't mind it. Um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna mix all of those together and that's it. Like, so simple and so good. So for this meal, I'm gonna start out and I'm just gonna put some of that frozen spinach onto a pan and let that thaw out. Um, and then I just cut up some red pepper in little small chunks. So I'm gonna add that to the spinach on the stove and just kind of let those two cook for a little bit, um, just on a low heat. And then I'm gonna crack three eggs into this really sassy mug. Um, my mom got it for me and it's cute, but it just is not me. I'm not sassy. I'm like the last person you think of to have this mug, but you know. So we're just gonna add that to the pan and I'm gonna let those cook together. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's an omelet. You guys know how to make omelets. Um, I'm gonna top it off with some salt, pepper, um, and then I just added the cheese. That vegan cheese, again, you can tell I tried it once and I was obsessed. So I'm gonna add that to the omelet as well. And this is the hardest part, is trying to flip that dang thing. So, um, yeah, this is a thick boy. So this one was hard to flip. She's kind of making a mess, but you gotta love the thick ones. Mm -hmm. 